Welcome to the course, Formal Language and Automata Theory. In this lecture, we will discuss the general concept of design of a PDA for a given context-free language. So here, I have taken uh, some example problems. By solving these problems, we will see how to construct a PDA for a given context free language. So the question is, here you can see the question, obtain a PDA to accept the language. Here the language is L equal to A power N, V power N, such that N greater than or equal to one by a final state. So this L is a context free language. For this, we have to construct its equivalent acceptor, that is push down automaton. Whatever the PDA we are constructing here, so that is accepted by this language with the final state. So suppose in question, if they have given by empty stack or null stack, so at that time, final state not required, the stack should be empty or null at that time. The PDA accepts the given language by empty stack or null stack. Now here, whatever the stack, but uh, it should reach us to a final state. So then we can say the PDA is accepted by a final state for the given context field language. Okay, now uh, come to the solution. So like any language will be given, language to language. So our logic is changed. So here we don't have a standard uh, procedure or uh, method for construction of PDA for a given context field language. So here you can observe, first uh, let us uh, study the language, what it contains. So here the mission should accept, the mission means PDA should accept n number of here see what is the language a power n b power n so the language contains n number of a's followed by n number of b's followed by n number of b's see this order should be maintained here you can see the language contains a power n b power n first a followed by B. Then how many A's, how many B's? So here N should start with one. Whenever you can substitute N as one, what you will get A power one, B power one. That means AB is the string. If you can substitute N as two, A power two, B power two. If you can expand this, A, A, B, B. So any string derived from this language, it should follow first number of A's, then number of B's. This order should be maintained. So that is the nature of the language. Then coming to the general procedure, what we follow here in this language. So here, since here we have n number of A's, the language contains n number of A's should be followed by, should be followed by n number of B's followed by n number of b's in the note whatever we mentioned so this is the nature of the language so here what you have to do in this let us push all the symbols on to the stack so the first step what you have to do push all the symbols push means inside all the symbols on to the stack on to the stack as long as as long as the scanned input symbol is a as long as the scanned input symbol is a so why because the language contains number of A's followed by number of B's. First, you have to push all the symbols on to the stack. 
as long as the scanned input symbol is a that means whenever your input is a you can push a on to the stack like that uh, all yes you can push on on to the stack so whenever the input is a so then next second step what you have to do second step once we encounter the number of bees once we encounter bees then what you have to do we should see that for each b each input symbol b in the input each b in the input there should be there should be corresponding a there should be corresponding a so this corresponding a where uh, this can be presented on the stack corresponding a should be on the stack so then when the input pointer when the input pointer reaches reaches the end of the string so whenever the input pointer reaches the end of the string at that time the stack should be empty the stack should be empty so if stack is empty stack is empty it indicates it indicates that the string that the string scanned from the input has n number of a's n number of a's followed by n number of b's followed by n number of b's that means here if stack is empty what it indicates that the string scanned consisting of n number of a's followed by n number of b's this is the general procedure so here what you have to do first you have to push all the symbols on to the stack as long as the scanned input symbol is a so whenever input is a you can simply push on to the stack like any number of yes you can push so after pushing all input symbols so whenever we will see the input is b that means once we encounter b we, sh we should see that for each b in the input for uh, every b in the input string there should be corresponding a on the stack so when the input pointer reaches the end of the string the stack should be empty so whenever stack is empty it indicates that the string scanned has n number of bits followed by n number of bits so this is the general procedure we have to follow here finally the first step we have to push all yes on to the stack the second step whenever we see the input as b then there exists a corresponding a on top of the stack at that time we have to erase or pop the top symbol from the stack by seeing the current input symbol as b so like that whenever the control moves to the end so all symbols on the stack should be erased then finally stack is empty so whenever stack is empty it indicates so the string scanned from the given language 
which consists of n number of a's followed by n number of b now by using the about two steps now here you can write the corresponding transitions now step 1 first whenever we are designing a pda or constructing a pda you can start with initial state so let q not be the start state for any pda this is the common let q not be the start state and uh, also take the initial symbol of the start so z not uh, be the initial symbol z not be the initial symbol on the stack so this two you can take initially for all problems so then what you have to do as long as the next input symbol to be scanned is scanned is a in the above we mentioned as long as the next input symbol the next input symbol to be scanned is a irrespective of irrespective of what is there on the stack what is there on the stack so you don't bother about whatever the initial symbols on the stack so as long as the next input symbol to be scanned is a irrespective of what is there on the stack so what you have to do keep pushing all the symbols all the symbols on to the stack and remain in same state here don't change state so whenever you are pushing or inserting and remain in q not that is same state here we can't change the state now for this the corresponding transitions the transitions defined for this can be of the following form so here we have taken q not as the starting state so delta of q not so your current input symbol is a initially what stack contains the initial symbol that is z not so whenever your input is a whatever stack contains simply what you have to do don't change the state it remains in the same state a is pushed on to the stack here you can see initially this is the stack whenever input a is scanned this a is pushed on to the stack so here push a on to the stack this is the first step so then uh, what we mentioned like uh, as long as any number of a's you can push initially now you are at same state now again second a we are pushing now what is the current top of the stack current top is a now now you can take a so again whenever input is a whatever the symbol on the stack simply you have to push a now a is pushed on to the stack so here the stack becomes already one a is there now one more a is pushed on to the stack for this this is the corresponding transition so now by using these two transitions here you can observe first one a is pushed on to the stack then whenever your input is next a again that a is also pushed on to the stack so using these two transitions you can push as many number of a's so whenever your input string contains so this operation we will call it as 
push operation in the first step. So here we have inserted A onto the stack. All number of A's are inserted. Then coming to step two. In step two, what we mentioned, whenever the input is B, the input B is encountered and there should be a corresponding A on top of the stack. So at that time, what you have to do, we have to pop the top of the stack with the opposite input symbol, that is B. With input B, we have to pop the top A. So that means here we have to erase all the symbols from the stack by seeing the input as B. So now, now we are at state Q0. So in state Q0, if the next input symbol to be scanned is B, if the next input symbol, if the next input symbol to be scanned is B, now our input is B now. Then whenever input is B, you can check the top should contain a corresponding A. And if the top of the stack, if the top of the stack is A. So what you have to do in this case, simply change the state to new state, let us say Q1. And what you have to do, we have to delete or pop, delete or pop one A. So where A is there? One A from the stack. So in the top of the stack, there should be corresponding A for the input B. So at that time, we have to delete or pop one A from the stack. Now, the transition corresponding to this step is, therefore, the transition for this can be of the following form. So now you are at same Q0 state, your input is B, then uh, there exists a corresponding A on top of the stack. Then we have to change the state Q0 to Q1. Now one A from the top of the stack is erased or deleted, means that can be done using epsilon. So here what you have done, pop A from the top of the stack. So this is the third transition we have. So now you are at Q1. So now, again, if your next input is B, then there exists a corresponding A on top of the stack, that is second A. At that time also, you can pop the second A from the top of the stack with the corresponding input B. So that can be done in uh, step three. That means we have more than one A on, on the stack. That's why there is chance of more than one B in the input string. So the remaining inputs also, you can pop or delete by seeing the corresponding A's on the top of the stack. Now, once the mission in state Q1, now you are at Q1. Once the mission in state Q1, the rest of the symbols to be scanned, the rest of the symbols to be scanned will be only Bs. And for each B, for each B, there should be corresponding symbol A. There should be corresponding symbol A on the stack. Corresponding symbol A 
on the stack so like that you can pop or delete other yes on the stack by seeing the corresponding input symbol b so then if there is a matching a on the stack then the machine remains in the same state then it erases uh, one a from the stack therefore the transition corresponding to this one now you are at q1 state your input is b your top of the stack is a again here we can't change the state you will be at q1 only now b a is popped by seeing the input symbol b again with epsilon so here also again pop a here previously you can see you are at q0 input is b stack top is a then you change the state q0 to q1 then that a from the stack is erased with input as b now at q1 state also one more b is there further all the scanned symbols are b then there should be corresponding symbols a on the stack then matching is found that means for uh, every input b there exists corresponding a so whenever this will occur then you have to pop up without changing the state so like that all a's from the stack are deleted or erased by seeing the corresponding input symbols that is number of b's so now coming to the last step now you again you are at state q1 in state q1 if the next input symbol is null or epsilon that means now no inputs are there so if the next input symbol to be scanned next input symbol to be scanned is null here epsilon means null and if the top of the stack is and if the top of the stack is now you erased all symbols from the stack so then what stack contains if all symbols are erased then the stack contains the initial symbol only that is what we assumed z0 is the initial symbol of the stack and if the top of the stack is z0 it means that for each b in the input there exists corresponding a on the stack so now change now change the state to q2 now what is q2 which is an accepting state which is an accepting or final state so whenever input is empty stack top is z0 then you can change the state to new state whatever the previous state then it will moves to next state that you can consider it as the final state therefore the transition corresponding to this can be defined as now you are at q1 input is empty stack also contains initial symbol then simply you have to change the state to q2 then stack remains safe so where q2 belongs to final state or accepting state so now you can see finally these are all the corresponding transitions of our pda for the given context free language so that is l equal to a power n b power n such that n greater than or equal to 1 so here based on this language what it contains number of a's followed by number of b's so that's why the first step we have to push all a's on to the stack then whenever your input is b then you have to pop or delete one a from the top of the stack by seeing the input as b 
that means opposite symbols so uh, compulsory there exists a corresponding a when our input is b then only have to perform pop or delete or simply erase so the first transition we are at q not state our input is a initially stack content z not then a is pushed onto the stack then the stack becomes uh, a z not the stack contains a z not so whatever the element you are uh, pushing that will be placed on uh, top of the stack every time the newly inserting element will be placed on top of the stack then second uh, transition with the same state if the input again the next input is also a again you have to push that a onto the stack already your stack contains one a then another a is inserted on top of the stack now this is the stack like without changing state uh, by using these transitions you can push any number of a's so now we are in the same state q not if the next input symbol to be scanned is b so whenever the input is b then there exists a corresponding matching symbol a on top of the stack then only how to perform delete or pop from the top of the stack the corresponding a should be deleted then you have to change the state q not to q1 now the corresponding transition is delta of q not input is b then top of the stack is a equal to now we are changing state q not to q1 then erase means simply we have to put null here null means erase then here pop a then similarly now you are at q1 again if next to scanned input symbol is b then there exists a corresponding top of the stack is a so then again you have to pop the next a also with the input symbol b so then here without changing state you are at q1 state only then pop a now you are in state q1 so like that all a's from the stack are arranged by seeing the corresponding b's in the input so then in state q1 if the next input symbol to be scanned is null that means no input now and in this case the stack is also empty contains z not now we can change state to q2 now that state will call it as accepting or final state for this the corresponding transition is you are at q1 state input is uh, empty then uh, stack also contains initial symbol then we are changing state q1 to q2 now the stack remains empty now where q2 is a final state or accepting state now these are all the transitions we obtained now finally write uh, the final pda by seeing all these transition so the pda to accept the long ways so what is the long ways the long ways l equal to a power n b power n such that n greater than or equal to 1 along with along with the transition diagram is given below along with the transition diagram is given by first we have to write the tuple definition of pda then list all the tuples so here m equal to q sigma tau delta q not z not and f now list out all the tuples here where q equal to what are the states we considered in the transitions here we have taken q not then we have q1 then q2 then uh, sigma equal to the string consisting of a's and b's so a comma b then uh, tau equal to that means uh, after uh, performing a transition the right side of the move what it contains right side you can see it contains z not then it contains uh, a so stack contains z not and a only so null we can't include as a stack alphabet so now it contains a comma z not z not is the initial start symbol of the stack and uh, 
delta e is given below list out all the above five transition delta e is given below now write down all the five transitions as it is so now the first one is delta of q not a z not equal to q not a z not then the second transition delta of q not a a equal to q not a a then the third transition delta of q not b a equal to q1 comma null then uh, the fourth transition delta of q1 b comma a equal to q1 comma null then the fifth transition delta of q1 comma epsilon comma z not equal to q2 comma z not these are all the transitions where here you can see q not belongs to q is the start or initial state initial state of the mission pda z not belongs to tau is the initial symbol on the stack and f equal to what is the final state here q2 is the final or accepting state like that you have to write all these tuples final or accepting state so now draw its transition diagram for this pda so we know how to construct a transition diagram and table for a given pda so the pda consisting of what are the states here we have q not then q1 then q2 so your initial state is q not so you have to draw a prefixed arrow then final state is q2 you can represent within double circle now see the first transition q not on input a it is going to q not itself so q not on a it is going to q not itself then the stack before after so before uh, the move it contains a after it contains a z not that can be represented uh, by separated with comma by using r so a by a z not then second one q not on a again it is going to q not now the stack before the move is a then after move it contains a a same next transition is q not on input b it is going to q1 state so q, that third transition q not on b it is going to q1 then uh, what is the stack initially it contains a then after the move it contains null so first input symbol followed by stack before after the move separated with r both we have to include then uh, next one is q1 on b again loop q1 on b it is going to q1 itself now the stack before it contains a then after operation it contains null so now this one next transition q1 with uh, null it is going to q2 so here the input is null now initially stack contains z not then after the operation also it contains z not only so now that's all about uh, the transitions now total see five transitions so the here self loop we have two transitions then q0 to q1 one then q1 loop one then q1 to q2 one total so 2 3 4 5 all five transitions are included now this is the transition diagram of uh, the pda uptime transition diagram similarly you can write its table also transition diagram of uh, the pda uptime now here you can verify whether your pda is correct or not it's a very important step you can take any one string then you can check the acceptance so here the mission what are the mission we obtained it contains a final state so compulsory 
it is accepted by a final state. So let us take one string to accept the string. The sequence of moves made by the PDA for the string. Let us say AAA BBB. If n equal to three, you will get this string. So now the sequence of moves made by the PDA for this string are given below. First, you can take initial configuration that is instantaneous description. You can take Q naught followed by the given string, given string as it is, you can take, then take the initial symbol of the stack. Then one move to other move is separated by using this five symbol in ID. So now what you, what you have to do, every time take the current state, current input symbol and current top of the stack. Then replace uh, the respective transitions. Now Q naught, A, Z naught, what we have according to first transition, the state is same. Now the remaining input after scanning A, remaining two A's, then three B's. Now this A is pushed onto the stack. Now A, Z naught. Now again your current state is Q naught, current input is A, then current top is also A. Again, Q naught A A. What is the transition we have that A is also pushed onto the stack. So now another A is pushed onto the stack. Now the current top is A, current input is A. So again, Q naught A A, same transition you can apply. Q naught, now the remaining input consisting of Bs. Now this third A is also pushed onto the stack. Now you can see Q naught is the current state, current input is B current top is A. So now according to the third transition, delta of Q naught B A. So it is changing state to Q1. The remaining input is BB. Now top of the A is erased or deleted with the current input is B. Now the remaining symbols on the stack. So A A Z naught. Now your current state is Q1, current input is B. Then uh, current top of the stack is A. Again, Q1 B A, what is the transition? With same state, the remaining input is B, this A is erased. Then stack contains remaining symbols. Now your again current state is Q1, current input is B, current top is A. Again, you have to delete A from the top of the stack. Now Q1, after scanning B, then remaining input is null. It does not contain any input. Then A is erased, then your stack contains empty. Now the last transition, Q1 epsilon Z not equal to, it is going to final state. Now the stack remains same. Now here you can see, this is called as final configuration. Final configuration. So what final configuration contains? So here, since Q2 is final state, here whatever the state we obtained here, Q2 belongs to F. Since Q2 is the final state, Q2 is the final state and input string is null. Input string is null in the final configuration. In the final configuration. So the string is accepted. The string A A A B B B is accepted by the PDA. Is accepted by the PDA. That means our mission satisfying the condition of acceptance of strings obtained from the given language by final state. So same problem by doing slight modification. We can obtain a PDA, which can be accepted by empty stack or null stack also. For that, by changing the final transition. So now, PDA accepted by empty stack or null stack. MTR 
null stack only the last transition only you need to change so by changing the final transition by changing the final transition from the above pda from so what is the final transition in the above pda so delta of q1 epsilon z0 equal to q2 z0 so two this is change to the following so a pda that is accepted by empty stack or null stack means stack should be null now q1 epsilon z0 equal to q2 comma null this is the only change so now which denotes empty stack or null stack but here q2 is not a final state so now q2 not belongs to a final state so why because if the pda wants to accept a given language by empty stack or null stack only one condition means q2 is not a final state so the pda accepted by an empty stack the pda accepted by an empty stack is obtained he is obtained by changing the last last transition to this one so now here note that q2 is not the final state now take the same string whatever we verified the acceptance you can uh, test with this uh, modified pda now you can uh, re draw its transition diagram also by changing only the last transition remaining all are same there is no change so like that any given problem a context free language we can uh, obtain or construct its corresponding push down automaton by accepting with a final state or by accepting with empty stack or null stack so if the problem is suppose construct a pda accepted by empty stack or null stack the last step we have to follow then uh, construct a pda which can be accepted by a final state so at that time the last transition you can keep remain same so that means q2 should be the final state then uh, stack contains the initial symbol